How often do you try new things? Hello, it's Michael Thrive Sanctuary, and today we're going to talk about stepping outside of our comfort zone. Now, I know that I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for going out of my comfort zone. I definitely wouldn't have become a writer. I also wouldn't have the amazing job that I have today that gives me time to work on the blogs and the YouTube channel. In the very beginning, I had no idea what I was doing as a freelance writer. But through determination, I worked hard to learn everything I possibly could about freelance writing and SEO content. And that is what led me up to here. Each step I took along the way for what, since 2012, has been constantly evolving me into something else. This is because I view going outside of the comfort zone as more of an evolution. This means I'm constantly looking for the next logical step in my career. Or at least the next logical step in progressing myself forward. Now when you decide to take those steps, it's going to be take, take a lot of hard work and determination to do so. And it's okay to be content with where you are. As long as you're happy, who's to say that you're doing it wrong? But if you want to grow and become something else more than what you are today, it's going to take a lot of effort. And if you're trying to be a creator of any kind, it also means developing a bit of a thick skin. Because not everyone is going to like everything you create, and that's okay. They are not the ones you're trying to impress. Focus on the things that you want to do and the people who will help drive you there. Yeah, I started back in 2012 writing 500 to 700 word articles for clients on Tax Broker. Now I'm about to publish my second book and I have plenty more in the works, part of a four book series and I've already got a book after that planned. Not to mention the slew of videos and blog posts that I have in the pipe for showing people how to use the software that I use. Now will all these books and videos and blog posts be successful? Who knows? But I can tell you that I love working on the book. Mostly because it's one of my most favorite stories to date. Now add in the fact that I've worked really hard on this book to put the best story possible that I could put out there. It's already successful in my eyes. Now this book has only sold a handful of copies. Mostly because it's quite niche and I really didn't market it all that well. But I am immensely proud of A Freelancer's Tale. Mostly because it's a testament to what I can do if I actually put in the effort to make it happen. It's all about following through and getting outside my comfort zone. Now it's not about if you're going to make that bag of money or become a celebrity overnight. It's all about knowing that you put in the maximum effort to accomplish something. Besides, you never know about the opportunities and successes that are out there if you don't step outside of your comfort zone. You'll stumble, you'll probably fall. What matters is that you get up, dust yourself off, and keep trying until you exhausted every avenue. Because there's a whole world of awesomeness out there as long as you're looking for it. That's part of that keeping that positive mindset thing going on. Because if you're in a negative mindset, that's all you're going to see. But when you're always looking at the bright side of life, you'll see all kinds of opportunities that were there that may have been there the whole time. Many of you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. For more videos about self-publishing, freelance writing, blogging, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm going to go get ready for the live stream and possibly get a haircut. I'll see you next time.